Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. It's two versus the Overlords, and at the moment, the Overlords have the advantage. We are on the Doom Clock. We have something like 26 days left before we lose the campaign. I do have a chance to shut that off, but we have to go to an alien facility guarded by the Viper King and take it out. Not looking forward to it, particularly since my Reaper is not healthy. I thought about bringing our Templar, but I'm going to talk a little bit more once we're on the combat map about the approach I intend to use. But the Templar is not going to fit in with the strategy that I want to employ on the battlefield. So instead, even though he's healthy and a higher rank, I'm going to bring a squatty marksman because that does fit in a little better with what I'm trying to do. So this is the squad we're going with. I didn't have a whole lot of healthy dudes to choose from. We, we had barely enough to fill out the squad. So wish me luck because I think I'm going to need it on this one. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X4 charges. Our position is concealed. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, it's pretty far off. So. I mentioned that I do have an approach in mind, and this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to move up a little bit, and then basically, I'm planning to spend some, some turns on Overwatch. I'm going to do everything in my power to en engage one pod at a time. I do not want to fight multiple pods, and I most especially do not want to fight the Viper King at the same time as I am a pod of Advent. That would just be horrendous. So that's um, my basic approach here. So what I'm going to be doing is... Um, hanging back and going on overwatch for a number of turns i will edit the dead turns out so you don't have to sit here watching it because that would get very dull Showtime. I got it, right? So we killed both of the guys in that pod. Now up here there's a specter. Oh, here's the specter. And the Viper King has been patrolling up and down through here. I've let it go because I had hoped to take out this stupid turret. And I'm actually going to start working on that now. If I can kill it, it would just be really huge, I think. I don't want to hit that guy right now. Again, he's not active, so... Oh, I just gonna have one health left. Okay. I'll come here. The, uh... Spectre won't be able to see. I have a pretty good chance. 
Okay. <laughs> Just enough. So that's important because, you know, when the Viper King comes back, I did not really want him to be able to tongue grab and pull me into range of a turret. That just seemed, you know, like a pretty terrible idea. Okay, so I will move up just that tiny bit. Scanning. And... Yeah, I don't want to move forward. I don't want to trigger this guy this turn. Hold on, if you... Yeah, I mean, I don't need to reload, but I'll reload. Okay. I wondered what... Like, I could see him, but I kind of wondered what the rest of the pod looked like. I do think at this point it probably makes sense to try to pull them. I'm a little anxious about it because, again, I, I don't want to fight them at the same time as the okay, king. But, it, you know, like sitting here is almost going to guarantee that happens. Man, I'd kill for blue screen rounds to use on the stupid specter, but I don't have them, so... I gotta say, I'd rather go for the stupid Viper here. Alright, well. I nicked him. It's damage. <laughs> oh, hell, you can't see him? Well, like I said, I'm really excited about prioritizing the Spectre this turn. Huh? Uh, what did that equate to? 10 damage. Okay. I don't know that 55% is going to go very far. I could hollow target him. I mean, it feels like a real waste of hollow targeting. I'll just do this. There you go. Real marksmen don't need hollow targeting. Oh, he's got one health left. But I do have two, two soldiers, so... I think I'm willing to take a chance here. And if I had to, I could go for... Oh, you can't see him. All right. So, worst comes to worst, I can just take him out. I don't want to cluster too much here. Um, I need to be careful about that. I'll move a little closer. The reason I'm worried about clustering, it's not even this guy... Um, if he was going to live through the turn, I would. It's all about the stupid Viper King. Speaking of whom, let's go on Overwatch, because he could come back any second. Okay, so what we need to do here, 100%, is get a little spacing again. Um, is this safe? You know, somebody could come around that corner. I don't like that. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to retrench a little bit. I want a little distance. Let me... See, the problem up here is I'm more likely to trigger him. Um, yep, let me just come back. And I'll go ahead and reload him. Where am I going to put you, jeez. I could come here. It's not terrible. I'm you here. Moving to Overwatch. I don't love being this far forward. But I also have to be careful. Because I, again, I do not want us all clustered so tight. Do I just come here? Is that the way to go? Finally. When he does that stupid, you know, spit of his. Let's reload. Reloading. I think that makes a ton of sense. Um, 
Do I just want to come here? No, I think I'm fine. Affirmative. Covering now. You have free reload, so Overwatch makes a ton of sense. And that's it. Okay. All right, so at least if he comes back, which here he is. I have some Overwatch. Maybe we get some, you know, damn, it's five damage. I'll take it. And hopefully I'll get more. There you go. I mean, honestly, 10 through his armor, I feel pretty damn good about. And we haven't shredded him at all or anything. So that's kind of, you know, what I was thinking right now is let's do this. Get some shredding going. A little more damage. I like it. If he'd have stayed put, I would have ruined his cover, but of course he didn't. As it attempts to reposition itself. Hmm. Would another grenade make sense? I think so. I mean, I think the more we shred him, the better off we are. Not just for this encounter, but in the future. And again, I'm ruining his cover, so if he does anything other than move... I mean, that was a dream come true. Fire over here. You know, a missed tongue grab. Holy crap. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's go for the last bit of shredding. Combined with some real damage, hopefully. Man, I hope this works. Okay. Well, I got some damage in. I just didn't get the shredding. Um... You know, never mind. Suppression is not the worst. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. <laughs> Let's do the free reload. This won't trigger anything. His cover is a problem. All right. Well, then let's do this. I'll do the last of the shredding. I'll wreck his cover. If he moves, the cover part won't matter, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay. I mean, it, it, it kind of is what it is at a certain point. Okay, this is literally the only action I have left. And I got some damage out of it. Even though I missed. Because he's got a good stock. And we have him... Pretty far down. So he's going to be looking to bail soon. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. <sighs> he's so far back. What if I went... Well, he doesn't shoot a lot. He would be disoriented. But it reduces his aim and mobility. I don't know. That probably affects his tongue grab. And it would certainly affect his shot. So, I mean, this is what I was thinking about. I just don't feel like the three damage is that amazing. Maybe he moves toward us. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good move or not. Yeah, there you go. He missed his tongue grab. Heavy fire in this zone. And I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot. I at least have, you know, a decent chance here. All right. Hardly did anything. I mean, he's dodging like crazy. He's ready to go. Well, I can't stop him. I think the only thing that makes sense is to put one of these guys on Overwatch. Um, and it's going to have to be him. Uh, who do I have teamwork with? Yeah, that's, that's not that useful. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go on Overwatch here. 
and um, I hit him right now. I didn't even get the shot? That was kind of weird. All right, whatever. Listen, did I take any damage from that? No. I had two guys frozen. I'm on it. And that was it. And right. brother, I call that a win. Got it covered. To drive him off and not get anybody hurt. I mean, I'm I'm sure someone will tell me a war story about how they had nothing but a paper clip and a shoestring to fight oh, him with yeah. and they killed him on the first turn, but now I'm I could not be happier. Hey Ray, you coming down? And I managed to do that whole fight, you know, without, there was no turret, there was no advent pod. We were able to kind of clear the decks a little bit. Now I'm not saying we've cleared the map, but you know, it was a huge help. <laughs> You're so cute, Ray. He just comes in for a landing. Um, huge help, you know, to be able to just focus on him. Cause man, he is a load. He really is. Okay. So you've already done. Okay. So does anybody else need a reload? Yes. Let's do this. So even though I can't imagine this would trigger a new group, I am not budging. On I'm going to do this slowly just to make sure everybody has what they need. I think they do. Okay. All right. I think at this point, I'm pretty okay to move forward and, you know, see if I reveal anybody. Nope. Okay. Uh, I am going to be fairly conservative about how many guys, you know, and, and all that I move forward. I think this is okay-ish. Okay. So I think I'm done, you know, kind of breaking new ground moving forward. But what I do need to do... To get my sharpshooters where maybe they can be useful if a firefight breaks out. And now I don't have to be as scared about being in a group. Because, you know, when the Viper King is around, that's a little scary. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So it, this thing is back in there a ways. And I don't even see, I guess this is an entrance. I think I made an entrance where I blew it up. <laughs> mm. All right, I'll do this. It's not a great place to stand, unfortunately. I can be pretty easily flanked. I think that this turn is not going to feature a whole lot more moving forward. So let me do this. Let me brace. Have you already braced? Yes. Yeah. So everybody just overwatch. Come get some. Come get some. Affirmative. Covering now. Covered. Covering now. say so. No? Nothing? Okay. Um, you are right, Ray? Hmm. I, this I looks okay. pretty good to me. Okay, it's okay, Ray. That's just your mom. Someone's making noise in the other room, so he can't have that. 
Let's go ahead and Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. Overwatch. I'm trusting you here. Okay, still nothing. Okay, I'll go. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay. I'm on it. So we know that there's at least one more pod. We've seen the little sound wave thingy and the question Move is already. you know how many and where are they of course I, I. oh damn what's over there all right i think i've moved everybody forward so let's go ahead Mmm, here comes trouble. Yeah, I didn't get it. That was a good one. That was a good one. Especially with a shotgun at that distance. That was nice shooting. Okay. Well, listen, these are both really good shots. So let me kind of save her a little bit, because I don't know. Okay. The sectoid is pretty clearly the one who's more exposed. So even though he's not necessarily always my highest priority target, we're just going to take him out. And having done that, now um, let me come back to my sharpshooter. I mean, this guy is kind of number one with a bullet. <laughs> Get it? A bullet? And she took him. Nice. Very nice. So no one else is going to move forward here. Um, I'm going to reload. It's killing time. I'm on it. But I am extremely pleased by how that went. <laughs> Solid copy. Let me brace here. I just don't want to uncover any new ground. That's really, you know. Reloaded. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Anybody else need a reload? No. I think we're good. Uh, you could use it, but... Okay, so I do want to come get this loot. It doesn't necessarily have order. to be this turn. That I pick it up because I'm not crazy about dashing. But I definitely want to make sure we get it. I'm trusting you here. Let's 
I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the team over. We're gonna scout this a bit and be ready in case I do trigger a pod. But it's it's looking good. Um I see. I don't want to come up here. I mean, in theory, there could be a group standing on the roof. That would that would not be great for me. No problem, boss. And that's putting it mildly. Scanning. Let's just reload. Let's rock. I'm not gonna try to um, go ham here We're at the end. It. We've been doing really well. I'm on it. And, you know, I understand this is probably not, like, the most exciting way to watch someone play. But, um, I think the results speak for themselves. Like, I want to win, you know? Okay, perfect. Acid and toe. And you know, the other thing that I noticed, like, we haven't heard anything. You notice that? I'm on it. So, I am going to go ahead and start moving Here forward. And by forward, I mean towards the place where we plant the charges. Okay, I'll go. This might be a little risky if there's someone in there, and there is someone in there. So I can't see anything. Hmm. Question is, like, would I prefer to trigger them? No, not now. I'm just debating, do I want to do it on their turn? Like, I could move him and reduce the chances of that happening. Or I could intentionally try and make it happen on on their on my turn. I could bring her here. See, the problem is I don't know where they're gonna freaking go. I think I will come here. I shouldn't trigger them. I did. All right. Well, listen. I I rolled the dice and I didn't get lucky. Maybe I got a little reckless. I don't know. What is this? An advanced trooper. Shield bearer. So the trooper is the only one that I need to worry about at all. And I think the answer to that is to just move here behind full cover. I'm going. I'm not going to, you know, hang her out to dry. Um, but I am. Oh, I see. Well, you know what I'm more than happy to do is this. Grenade out. I don't know if this is going to kill that trooper, but it's definitely going to make things rough on him. He's not dead? Really? He's got one now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Boy, if I could get a grenade in there, oh my god. Actually, hang on a second. I think I might be able to. <sighs> Daddy-like. I mean, hitting three guys, especially when it's not even a grenadier doing it. That's pretty juicy. This is... This is so not the guy I want to hit. Whatever. It's a guy. We need to kill him. Hmm. Maybe here? Won't be able to really do anything this turn, but... I get set up. Alright. So... He's the only one that I'm a little anxious about. Hey, this is bad. <sighs> Ruin my flawless. Ruined my flawless. 
go. Oh, he did hit him. Huh. Didn't think he'd be able to. All right. Well, listen. I I think this is just the way to go. Hard target, minimal damage. All right. So I clearly can't stay here. They blew it up. Uh, and I can't leave him. Basically, what I need to do with him is pull back and um, hunker down to put out the flames. But it sucks because I have this amazing shot. And I could get good shots on multiple guys. But uh, I don't want this guy to be, you know, on the shelf for God knows how long. So that takes care of the fire. And I, I think this is the way to go here. Alright, he's standing, but not by much. You know... Um... I do believe what I want to do is use a grenade here. Come on up, Ray. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, you're a good boy. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. Whoops. Sorry. That was just the Gatorade. It's okay. What do you think we need to do, Ray? My concern is um, I don't want to move somewhere where I can get flanked. But I also um, want to go somewhere where I can put the grenade where I actually want the doggone thing. Maybe here is the answer. I think it is. I think it is. Oh, crap. I can... I'm going to take damage from the explosion. <laughs> this guy goes boom. What if I do something like this? And then I move away. It sucks because, you know, I had this nifty Let's little plan. And my plan kind of went to hell. Can't see the other guy. How do I kill the other guy? Um... I don't think I can do it. Uh, who can I give an extraction to? That help me? Doesn't have a grenade. And I don't think he can see them. Nope. Everybody can see this guy. No one can see the other. Okay. Then here's what we're going to do. I am going to move here moving to position and since i have such a terrible shot um, hold on hold on oh can i do it can i find a safe place i think this is pretty good i'm going for it roger that I'm going for it. See, you can you can find a way. You can almost always find a way. So now I can be more aggressive here. And he didn't blow up, so I didn't. <laughs> but you know, you don't know. 
And I was going to use a grenade, and I think you're pretty much guaranteed that he blows up in that circumstance. So I have one guy left. I believe it's the shield bearer. Um, and I think here's where I do want my grenade, right? Like, it just makes sense. Let's try. Here's my sapper, so I'm going to move forward. Let's do this. And that looks good to me. This is going to wreck whatever can be wrecked. Okay, and I got rid of his stupid shield. Sadly, no, you know, shredding occurred, but that's all right. Where is, yeah, here's the guy. Uh, hold on. Why is it so low? Is it just range? Primarily. He also has defense. Can I just go all in on killing him this turn? I think that's what I'm going to yes, do. Be okay. So I'm going to do this to get in a point of shredding. And five damage. And this looks pretty promising. Now, she's already got a promotion, so let me see. Okay, I'd like not to be set on fire. <laughs> Let's go for it. Beautiful. All right. This is a mission. This is a mission. It's not for people with a weak heart. Um, I'm going to stay where I'm at. Come get some. And, yeah. Come get some. Okay. The funny thing is, I don't know that all the enemies are gone. I mean, you kind of hope they're gone. On your order. But I don't know that they're gone. So, I do think it's, you know, probably time to start coming in, because we need to evac that. together. I don't love it, frankly, because if we do have to fight, you know, like I've given up my high ground and things like that, but... At a certain point, I don't know what to say. It kind of is what it is. On Overwatch. Tired of waiting around. This has been a very uh, stressful mission. Affirmative. Covering now. I think for the most part, it's Copy gone pretty that. well. So I don't mean to suggest it's been some kind of fiasco. It really is just the whole Covering stress now. of the alien ruler and all that. Okay. So, what's my fastest evac route? I guess it'd be out here. I'm on it. Plant the X4. Menace 1-5, status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Okay. Well, listen, I'm more than happy to get out of here. If there is another pod, we're not going to see it. So, I'm okay I'm with that. Here. Here I come. So close to a flawless rating on this mission. Um, if you say so. <laughs> eh, the stupid purifier was part of it. Is there anybody left? Let me just see. I feel like there's one more person. Oh, there she is. There she is. Uh, I don't really look. It's fine. I mean, when you're fighting the frickin' Viper King and he doesn't hurt anybody, that's pretty awesome. Status confirmed. X4 charges detonating.
So there was one enemy left on the map. My guess is it's probably a turret. We saw the one. I would bet that somewhere up on the roof where, you know, I never went, like up on that highest floor, well, ceiling, <laughs> roof, I'm guessing somewhere up there, there was probably another turret. Do I care? Not even a little. I guess the experience would have been nice. So, wow, successful shot percentage, just under 95%. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. I doubt we've seen the last of Valen's little experiment, Commander. Best stay on our toes. It could show up again. Oh, okay. Don't say tired as well. Yeah. So he wouldn't have been able to do anything anyway, but not for 20 days. Uh, getting wounded did absolutely matter. So let me see. What is this? Okay, you're a sharpshooter. I know I did lead the target with the other. Um... You know, the bracing is wasting a lot of action, so let's try that. And then for this, Raptor's Perch, once per turn, get one action point refunded after killing an enemy at a lower elevation level. I mean, that's so specific, and getting one action point back like, you can't shoot again. You know, and she's got the free reloads. So, I guess you can move. I, I'm i not saying it's bad. It's just not as good as it sounds at first. What is quick hands? Automatically brace the end of your turn if you only took movement actions. Sniper rifles can now fire a standard snapshot with only one action remaining. But, do you, you know, this is pretty good. Um, gain plus two mobility and single target shots or strikes that kill their target and leave no active enemies remaining with line of sight. The marksmen will not break their concealment. Okay. Single target shots that kill their target and leave no active enemies remaining with line of sight. Okay. Again, very specific. Let's go for this because this is going to come in handy a lot more often. So we did get two promotions out of it. Unfortunately, you know, this guy's tired. She's tired and he's wounded, but coming out of that mission, feel pretty good. And we did bring it down by two. We've also slowed their ability to do anything. So uh, hopefully we get some days where nothing's going on here. That would be really, really good. Avenger plotting new course. We need supplies. I was thinking about waiting, but the outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. The we need a proving ground. We can get plasma grenade. Massive creatures as their front line combat. That'd be really good, man. Not shredding one at a time. Two. Um, I don't really care. I don't even want to build a workshop. The phase drone thing is kind of interesting to me. I'm not going to lie. Um, let me see. It seems like a way better version of the battle scanner. All right, well, the problem is we can't really use any of this stuff because we don't have a proving ground and we're not going to for a while. I just want to get some intel. Priority. 
Alright. So we got some money at least. Now, um, it looks like he was working on this to get another scientist when we were already making contact here. Um, I'm going to go Steady for making contact. Seven, Western Europe. I personally would really like to guarantee that we finish this the before the next supply drop. Be anything too tough. What do you say? The ice trappers have a high priority mission for you. So there's lost. Get another engineer. That's so good. That's so good. We get 79 intel. We get a lieutenant tech specialist and a lieutenant marine. Oh my god, we could use that so, so well. So, question. Do we have enough people to send? Because <laughs> we didn't get enough time for anybody to be healthy, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. <laughs> okay, well, listen, Saiken can take his pick of all the guys that are available. Uh, all kidding aside, both of these two are fresh. I know they're squatties, but they are fresh to action. So they're at full will. Um, Hogbite is also fresh. So that's half the squad right there. Now, unfortunately, the rest of these guys, when they come back, they will be tired. And so we're going to be in really rough shape if they don't give us at least, say, five days. If they give us five days, because see, the Reaper would be back, uh, Marina would be back, Joan, Quentin, like we get a bunch of guys back in five days. But hopefully after Saiken goes to do this one, we get those days. We'll also have two fresh soldiers. So that's really good. Um, but I do expect, given that we'll be fighting Lost, that most of the guys who go on this mission will be very fatigued because it does go by the number of enemies and of course you're fighting a million dudes on these lost missions, you know? So, eh, it's fine, it's fine. So, all right, well, listen, that's all for now. If you wanna see what happens, I suggest being on Sykin's channel tomorrow because I, this one could be pretty good. But uh, at any rate, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.